Welcome back to <laughs> game two of Clutch Gamers versus Admiral. Clutch Gamers, just downright, I mean, it was, a, it was a bloodbath from start to finish, but unfortunately, it didn't seem like the late game idea of the Terror Blade from Admiral ever really came to fruition. Yeah. Where's that, that's good input. Wait, Go on. Where's your that hat? That was good input. You were wearing Cyclone. a hat. No, put your hat back on. I'm well, not I happy with this. Put I, it back I on. I can't put me to be the headset on. You know, I look, <laughs> I look too dope for this. <laughs> okay, I'll just sit here. I like it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, that game <laughs> was an absolute bloodbath. Uh, it seemed like they were just fighting from start to finish. Um, and Clutch just fought better. They just itemized better for the fighting. Yeah, I, I, I feel like the Admiral Gaming have spent their time on waste um, useless stuff. Like, so many times that we see, like, four of them trying to catch one guy or two guys and all that instead of doing objective yeah. or trying to push the creep wave to the tower so they have the um, uh, map control. But, yeah, they, they just spend too much resource on, on only one support, uh, and nothing actually progressed after that. I think, honestly, from both sides, they were spending way too much time on stuff that didn't really <laughs> matter. <laughs> but Admiral made it worth it for Clutch to do that by completely overcommitting to defenses of their of their heroes. <laughs> like plus, <laughs> Clutch had a tree protector, so... That's what I was right. going to say. Oh, Unsung yeah. hero yeah. tree protector. All this chaos then normally... Towers just like naturally go down right, from right. creep aggro, but KYXY was keeping tabs on it, and yeah. every single time that there was a lull in the action, he was healing up some towers. What were you doing? A magic trick? I, to no, no, I dropped the mouse. The <laughs> so we actually Sorry. have a, a special guest in the building. We do. We have uh, somebody that we did not have around in the first game, which is why we missed a lot of kills. Mm. Uh, thanks for that, Cyclops. Jenkins loved this hero, I think. Which hero? Uh, the first big one. Necrofers? You told me. Nice. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, where did oh all this I attitude <laughs> come from, Cyclops? <laughs> you tell me. Maybe, maybe I need to give him back the hat. Maybe that... Do you want the hat back? No? No, it's, okay. it's kind of... All right, let's 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 show our obs. Let's show... Do we have... Do, 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 do. This is the, the warm-up period do, do for the obs. Like, uh, this is the soft shot. entry for the obs. Next time, we'll give you the real obs. Right now, uh. we're benchmarking things. I'm trying to test out some... Some new staff in my court right now. <laughs> so they like the Necro Cyclops. How about this Undying? Hero uh, got uh, nerfed in 7.19D, but he's still here. Yeah, it's uh, it's more like a Necro buddy. We always see these two together when, when in, in the Southeast Asia. Oh, I don't actually know why, but they always <laughs> come together. Okay, okay let, yeah. me, let me just explain what's happening here. Let's hear so it. okay. it's, it's almost Halloween. So everyone obviously goes for all the really cool Halloween heroes. Spooky. Look, you've got... You've got. A de you've I got thought you're gonna say something useful. <laughs> you know, I, I already made it nonsense, <laughs> and then, oh, Danley just gonna come in and save us all. Oh, okay, no, no. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you take the hat back. Uh, this suits you more. Kind of hot <laughs> hate here, I know. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> but I mean, look, I mean, look. You got a dude that you got undying. He's like a zombie. They have necrophores. He's like the semi Grim Reaper. It's like I a, don't know what Pugna a is. A bug though. and like a skeleton. Yeah. Halloween's all about the the skeleton. For sure. Right. We need a wraith king. Although wraith king's not a skeleton anymore. No. He's a wraith. He's a wraith skeleton Rest king. Rest in peace, back. skeleton king. Come back. That's a touchy subject. Man. It is. Uh, I don't really want to go there. We we'll have to be careful. We might get hit with copyright. Mm. Do you think there will be a lot of people using this necro force for spamming Die. the MMR games? There were. There back when he had like that, what, like 50 damage talent? 40. 40 damage. Yeah, it was, it was a little, little too much. Right. It's 30 now, but I just see people going for the strength instead. Because yeah. Because th the strength was actually kind of good before, too, if uh, you wanted to tank up a little bit in a game. In particular, if you were against a Pugna. Which you ran into a handful of Necros earlier today that kept building mech. Ten seconds. Which is supposed to I think it was the same guy, dude. Oh. <laughs> and I think he lost okay, every never game. Mind. That's a bad What's wrong bad with Necro Force with the me uh, mechanism? No oh, one really dude. builds it anymore. I mean, it doesn't do any damage. You already heal for a lot. Uh, it's good if you want to purge something with like the Guardian Greaves. Mech is just like a weak item in general, I think. Uh, and and a lot of the time, Necro's like running around and like acting as damage dealers, like looking to scythe people. And the mm. the Mech, you know, n Necro's really not really a healer anyway. Like he heals himself. Right. You know, he's not he's not really like a dazzle or like 
metaphorical. Like, if you guys are standing next to me, then I'll right, heal then you, you can yeah. get the heal. Exactly, it's a byproduct of the heal. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But he's more just trying to walk up and reaper scythe people. Mm. So I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll see it with if if the offlane becomes more of like an aura centric role. You think this is a Dagon game for Nyx? Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I mean, wish I wish it was more viable. I mean, when you have a Pugna, I don't, I don't think you need any more magical damage. Like, you're, that job is already being done, you know. Uh, it's a little redundant to commit more to it. Maybe maybe some disable, like Meteor Hammer. It can, let's be real, like, hey, it's Southeast Asia. We love our kills. It could, it could be the Dagon, right? I mean, Every you know single what? time Necro Ghost Shrouds, <laughs> pow! I mean, if this was like a... I wouldn't put it past these guys, okay, to be honest. Like, they're prob I'm just they're putting probably, it on the table. They're probably going to get a dag on both of these. Uh, honestly, all oh, four snap. of these here are probably going to also? Dag yes. Hell yeah. But I don't think it's a bad idea, though, because there's a lot of sustain on Clutch. Let's be real. They've got a lot of sustain Radiance in all their heroes. You kind of need to yeah. burst someone down before they have that sustain. Like, the longer the fight, the more heals, the more damage you Yeah, the, the burst is definitely really good against, against Necro. Against Undying, I mean, he kind of wants you to use spells on him. But with with the necro, like yeah, it's always good to have to have burst for him to to either burst him while uh, before he gets his ghost shroud off or while he uh, is using the ghost shroud. But I, with the crystal maiden, you know they they have so yeah, much six, magical zero. damage actually to deal with this necrophos. Yeah. It's a pretty damn hard game for him. Like Five, six. he he really needs to to have a good laning phase in order to do well in this game. And I suppose that's why they picked it with the undying because. I mean, what better? I, I, like name one better hero for securing the lane in in the in the game yeah. other than Ogre undying. Mashai. <laughs> I think I think I think don't I think Undying actually would one v one an ogre. I I think Undying better. Yeah. 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 Okay. It depends ogre on what, it, it depends <laughs> on uh, what that was. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> trying to get the temperature of the room, see what I'm dealing with right now. Okay. <laughs> okay. I see how it is. How it normally works is don't don't peeve off the king. He won't. Do we don't have. Key. There's no king. <laughs> this, this man is mad with power. You better be careful. You know he's ta he's soaking all of this in. He's like, I'm oh, the, I know who's going on. I'm gonna cast it. a spell on you. Yeah. But the king's like still a step tried. above the. <laughs> <laughs> it's not working. I think you need more fiber in your diet. <laughs> I absolutely need more fiber. <laughs> you know, speaking of fiber, uh, how was that burger that you had there, uh, Cyclops? Damn, was that good? Oh, great! That, that is the first burger I had in really? the um, in the states. <laughs> yeah, and then there was uh, what what was on that burger? What did what did you order again? Uh, you ate my burger. <laughs> <laughs> you ate my burger. I was waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I can't trust. I can't trust the people in this court. Uh, oh, I can't uh -oh. be your wizard. I have to step down as wizard. Yeah, really? I was like, um, I need two weeks' notice before you do yeah, that. Okay, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll be here for the next two He's weeks, like, but after that, I'm out of here. But you need to like write your resign your resi resignation letter as well to be like, okay, I am resigning as official. I do. Yeah. I can't write. Signed, sealed, delivered. I need to learn how to write first. No, I can't geez. write. I really did not train you well. Canadian <laughs> education or whatever the uh, country that we're. Pig. You're the I king. Know, Australians are pretty bad. I mean, we're all oh. prisoners. All oh, yeah. oh, these heroes are kind of tiny. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> <laughs> that's a hard hitting analysis that <laughs> to we get back into the draft. That's some good analysis. <laughs> 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 Alright, so Cyclops brought the nonsense, and then Daniel, you're supposed to give a hard, the, the actual <laughs> intelligent analysis, supposedly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I'm not. Unfortunately, I picked the wrong panel. For <laughs> We're just Jeez. talking about total nonsense outside of the game, and Cyclops bring us straight back into the game. With honestly, more nonsense. though, okay. Honestly speaking, the push is great for Admiral. We've got your Clinks, you've got your Pugna, so pushing towers is going to be relatively easy. Clutch don't necessarily have any push yet. They've got great team fight. They've got spell steals from their Rubik as well. But then again, what are you wanting to steal if you're a Rubik? The Pugna, the Pugna spells are okay. Uh, if you can steal the ward, it's really good against all of, all of the heroes. It, I would say more so like the um, the nuke, the Pugna nuke for pushing. I've seen a lot of Rubik's, like the more high skill Rubik. I mean, most Rubik's and pubs will just pick Rubik and then feed and steal yeah. nothing. Uh, but the high skill Rubik's will steal like the Pugna, the Pugna nuke, and then double nuke out waves and then just split push. And it's it's pretty cool actually. Mm. And then it also that solves your pushing man. problem. Yeah, with offensive null sealed, the nuke oh, pushes no. up a less rack. Yeah, yeah, it's insane. Okay, so you got Magnus picked up on Clutch. Magnus. Who are you going to want to buff if you're a Magnus in this game? Like, who who would you Whoever pick? Whoever the Troll. fifth hero is. Tro yeah, exactly. Let's Tro go for Jug then. Uh, I, I, Jug is a crappy hero. I mean, I don't know. Dude, I, I, I haven't seen a Jug in ages, I would, actually. I would say yeah. PA Troll are like the two big boys Damn right now to, to, to buff with the mag. Presumably, we'll see one of them get banned. What would be better? PA or Probably, probably PA is pretty good. At, PA is good against Pugna and Lane. Radiant really low armor hero. 
Yeah, and what was that? What was that band? Faceless Boys. Okay, Voice. totally, yeah. completely not either of those two heroes. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, you want something that has some sort of way to get into the fights. Because look at Admiral. They've got they've got a Nyx. You've got Impale. You have a Crystal Maiden. Really great CC. Oh, Pugno is just gonna be a pain in the butt to begin with, anyway. Yeah, something like BKB Hero too. Life BKB Stealer. Hero. Oh my what? God, Life Stealer. I don't. You don't want a Life Stealer versus a Clinks though. I mean, Clinks wins yeah. outright. Yeah. Oh my God. You just. And then Pugna can just like decrap. Oh, there goes your target. Yeah, that's true. It feels like Emerald um, just kind of adapt a. Oh no, not invite now. <laughs> <laughs> Except the Goblin Party Q, man. Kind of adapt the gameplay from a comic thing into a team fight, yeah, even though they're yeah. doing better. But now oh, that's what I. Yeah. PA. yeah, they 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 we, we they, they know that the um. Uh, it it wasn't it they what they lack is this objective, so they're just trying to. Uh, grouping up and and trying to take out as air, as much area as possible to to take control in the early game and try to end the game like real quick yeah. for that happy ending. Ten seconds to go. You think admirals are going to end the end the game? Admiral clearly wants to yeah, end the game. Yeah, well, they, they, they definitely want to end the game. I think I think most of the time you go late. This is pubs, I guess, but most of the time you go late game against. Uh, Magnus plus one. It's like you just you just lose eventually. He hits one big RP. They win one big fight. They take Roche. They take your high ground. Dude, and all these heroes can die in like two PA crits. Yeah, yeah. I, I I think the observation like they need to get into the fight was a really good one because there's so much backline heroes on the side of Admiral. And I think PA is going to do so well at getting in on those heroes. Whereas like Troll would perhaps need to pick up a Blink Dagger or. Yeah. A shadow blade. So the PA is like the well, perfect so pick. Mm -hmm. Not just that, though. Heaven forbid, how do they catch this clinks? Like their only reliable lockdown is RP, lift. If you're lucky, PA ba dagger, dagger bash. Yeah, dagger. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's 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 grasping at straws now just to try and catch his clinks. I mean, he's going to be super slippery. You get a good start with hey, clinks. Speaking of slippery. And then storm spirit. You don't have enough disable for everyone. Yeah. Oh, that's a cool Magnus set. Look at that. He's got tusks and everything. That's oh an yeah, elephant. that's the Dota Plus one. Damn, dude, that's cool. I think th I think that Clutch is gonna win just <laughs> based on that mag set, man. That's <laughs> sweet. I'm gonna say Clutch is gonna win off the fact that Admiral has like a cumulative 500 HP throughout all of their heroes. <laughs> yeah, that that, that, is, that is true. They they don't have a lot of lockdown for Storm though. They don't. See, the and so if the, the mid lane goes well, I could definitely see yeah, Jamesy. He could snowball pretty hard. Although the thing is with Storm is that you don't really have much to kill a PA. Uh, it takes a very long time to get a Bloodthorn. You don't right. go Monkey King Bar on that hero, so it's like, even even if you have an Orchid, uh, I mean, you know, if, if you have like a Pugnet with you or something, but you can't really go for solo picks on the PA, especially if the PA has any amount of farm, which presumably she will. She's in a Mag Strat, so she's going to be cleaving down a lot of a lot of creep camps. Yeah, I'm curious to see how... I mean, last game, Alacrity did far better than we expected in the mid lane matchup with that Lina versus Tiny. Yeah, yeah. through that. So mm. Necro versus Storm is... I think Necro annihilates Storm. Yeah. yeah, and so in the previous matchup, we were saying that it was going to be Tiny favored, and then yet Alacrity came out on top. Yeah. And now it's in his favor, so I'm expecting the Storm to have an immensely difficult time. I think this. And at the end of the day, it comes down to lanes and who they want to prioritize for lanes. Because they, they clearly didn't care about what happened in that middle lane. It was always the side lanes that they wanted to prioritize. Yeah. So we could see the same thing, or maybe this game they shift it back into that middle lane. They say, okay, side lanes, let's equalize, let's win this mid lane. Well, last time they had the Batrider, who was kind of self-sufficient, whereas this game, I don't really see any... Like, even in dual lanes, Admiral is going to be very weak. The, the Clinks... And what's who's his support gonna be? I guess I don't remember Crystal Maiden. Yeah, maybe that's nothing. One like freaking <coughs> shockwave and you're in. Yeah, they're very very squishy. Mm, yeah. Okay, well I'm gonna cast a spell and uh, put it. Okay, never mind. We wow, don't that need to do that. Great <laughs> spell. That Holy was crap. Uh, that is <laughs> all right. You had yeah. quick cast off. Yeah, no. For that. Uh, what I meant is that I can already cast the <laughs> spell. Right, right, right. Oh, you've been channeling it. Right, I've been channeling it. That was just finishing the it intro. Off. Who wants to do the intro? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this time, we're going bottom up this time. We're going to go, oh, yeah. my yeah. goodness. Spice? That's getting yeah, spicy yeah, yeah, yeah. in here. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll well, start. No, no, I have to start because we're going bottom up. That's so. true. He's right. <coughs> okay. Mm -hmm. We have Admiral Boomy on the Nyx Assassin. We got Jamesy on the Storm Spirit. Rial on Crystal Maiden. And on the Pugna, we have Bacarino. Admiral Bensoy on You're the... trying to confuse me? <laughs> What? Uh, you 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 supposed to say the the player name first and then the hero. 
I try to confuse all of us. I do what I want. So Who are you? Uh, you might. We're, we're doing, we're doing the hero name first, or it doesn't name? matter. You do you, Jenkins. Uh, but we have uh, Admiral Clinks on the Bensoy. No, that was not part of the plan. Uh, you oh, have to keep right. going up. <laughs> you can't repeat. I'm getting confused. We got Skylark on the Magnus. I'll do it for you. Oh okay. Um, K K Y X Y on Rubik and a Rune. Uh, we're gonna see this Rune fight real quick. Okay. Oh, look at that damage onto. Uh, do the intro X first. Y. Yes. Okay. It's a yes. Are we up to Necro? Necro. Where I got Alacrity playing on the Necro first. That was me. Jenkins. We have GG Phantom on the Nico Assassin. What? Baby. What? It's. <laughs> Are he trying to confuse us? <laughs> no, I'm. I, uh, okay. He's doing this wrong. <laughs> we got Spartan on Undying. Oh my goodness. Ah. Who, by the way, every single time Cyclops you say it, I keep thinking you're saying Espada. Espada. Like the team, and I'm like, whoa, Wait, Espada. How to pronounce his name then? Spartan. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's <a> Spartan. <laughs> okay, yeah, so there you go. So ah, casual. Okay, okay. Ah, okay. Mind blown. So what do we have here? The lanes, uh, what do you guys think? Uh, well, it looks pretty okay for Emerald from the start, you know, maybe because of the rain, they're shooting from long range. All right, last time you justified this creep cut by saying that it was burning off time on Metamorphosis. Now I'm starting to suspect that Skylark just likes doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you have a Rubik mag lane. Oh, like come on! <laughs> You're just going to justify every single matchup whenever he does this. Uh, I mean, I, I don't think you... D I think you do this if you think you have a losing lane. Yeah. I, I, I think Rubik mag is... A winning a lane. A very trash lane. What? <laughs> with two very <laughs> weak Against heroes. a Klinks and CM, though? Yeah, you just nu you just nuke with the CM and okay. just hit with the Klinks. KYXY's going real deep here. Oh, no, no, no commitment. Rubik is such a weak hero in the laning phase, actually. Yeah. He's rubbish until he's six, let's he be real. Is, yeah, and then it's it's just all skill. Oh, Spartan, taking the some damage. The first oh, okay, three mangers. Uh, if you know that it's a... Uh, oh. oh. I think Undying is okay if he dies. Maybe Buccarino kinda, kinda might not want. be happy. Nah, the, the same kind of mindset strikes again. They just want to fight till they die. Something. Ooh. They're still yeah. going. He's going to lose some strength very soon. Got 16 strength all now. Right, JK. He's all good. He's Gucci. He's all good. I think he actually wants a suicide. Like, you, you, you want to come back into the sling with full mana, full HP, so the Phantom Assassin keeps CSing. Yeah, but just do it to the neutrals. PA has the ah, lane under our tower. Oh, I guess that's true. Yeah, if the lane is under your tower, for sure. I going to say, Jamesy, he's struggling on this storm. Like, compare to CS. Holy You're crap. 8 to 16. He needs help. Well, well but when it comes down to the uh, simplicity of playing in the game, uh, I think it's it's um, it's Clash Gamer is much better than the uh, Emerald. I, it feels like um, they, they have a feeling that they, they are playing against a time bomb or something. They want to try and jump on a Jamesy here with Undying? I think he's suiciding to the tier 2. He, w he, he was just waiting for the timer so that he wouldn't give the kill away. So then surely all that time standing next to the tier 1, he could have just gone to the neutrals, right? I, 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 a lot of people don't want to... He has two wands. Okay, one is his friends. But oh. a, lo a lot of the time, you do, it, like it's level 6 uh, amount of time that you have to right. wait. It's like... 30 seconds, it's it's really, really rough. Uh, and like you said, the lane was in the tower. Yeah. Uh, but maybe by the time he realized, like, okay, I can't keep laning here, it was out, and he actually needed to start zoning again. Fair enough. But I, I, I agree with what you said. Like, if the lane is pushed in, you can either just walk back or suicide to neutrals, because, like, what's the point? Yeah. I was going to say, this is much more passive compared to last game. It last is. game, we're at 40 second laning phase, and then now mm. we actually have a proper laning phase. Maybe they woke up. It's Which it's one do morning. you prefer, my king? You, you want some passive I game? I or? always demand blood in any oh context no. whatsoever. So yeah. right now, I'm getting a little edgy. Okay, how do you prefer your steaks? Do you prefer them medium? He's, medium he's a vegetarian. Well, a vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how do you prefer your mushrooms? <laughs> Bloody. <laughs> he loves the blood. <laughs> 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 I want them stabbed, <laughs> skewered, and served. Okay, Boccarino. Some okay, although Nico maybe could be dead instead. Where's his support? Not, <laughs> <laughs> not even. Homie's cutting some creep waves. <laughs> 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 I just said. All right, I, I agree with dying on the undying. I don't know about the <laughs> TA. <laughs> a bit excessive, maybe? A little excessive. Seems to have a better position in the first five minutes of the game for Team Emerald in the in the lane. It's all about positioning. Yeah, but I feel like James is getting crushed even harder this game than he did last game. And mid lane, we said specifically that Storm is the one who's going to have to be the tempo controlling Can because he can't kill PA. Storm? Yeah. 
Big oh. hope. He's gonna need a lot of items to kill. P or he's gonna need to be a, have a huge advantage basically to kill PA. Right. Which doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Oh, okay. James is getting ganked. Oh, Scythe just oh. came oh. up. He just hit level six off that creep wave. God damn! What a play. Ouch. That's well, that was really clutch. Gamers. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Something calculated. Yeah, that was that was nice. I don't know. I I I wasn't feeling that one. <laughs> it was too. It was low hanging fruit. I'll, okay. I'll give it. It was, it was lazy writing. Spartan could be in some trouble here. Although Nico Baby's coming and KYXY, so they're gonna turn instead onto Boccarino. Spartan's Three, still alive. Boomy wants to get Spartan. Crystal Maiden comes in. Nova gonna finish him off. Does not get denied. Boccarino gets lifted. Can they finish him off? He's healing with the self. Oh, they didn't even get him now. It's gonna be this poor Phantom Assassin. The healer's there. TP. We've got the Undying coming in. They're gonna back out. Too long. Just not enough damage to kill Nico. Oh, and now we have a tri-lane versus tri-lane once again. Yeah, one thing Emerald um, need to be careful is do not commit in like the fight for too long. They, they, they should know that their goal in this one is to gain uh, advantage on the area of farming early on. Yeah, Clutch wants Admiral to get caught in the weeds just trying to fight yeah. over and over again because they've got a Magnus PA who is going to scale much harder than anyone on Admiral, especially given how poorly Storm's laning phase is going. Dude is 18 and 0 against a 47-14 Necro. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I mean, what what can you do if, if your supports are not going to come in to help you out? I mean, Jamesy's just being sacked here. They'll bring the Nyx in, and they also got some more support. Baccarino's come in. Okay, time to die, they say. Can they kill him? Is that enough stun? And it looks like it should be enough for Alacrity still running. He's dead now. If only he got Finally. level one of that ghost round, yeah. <laughs> he would be survived from that one. Uh, but he, he kind of like, okay. The level two the level two and the passive is what's letting him dominate the lane, though. It actually it, it like more than doubles the damage that it does. <laughs> Make her baby with a kill. I was say, Benso is having a pretty good laning stage as well. 38 CS. Although Magnus is getting some good farm too, I'd yeah. be concerned. Yeah. It's not like a break even like lane like that is not great for the carry. Because as it is, his mid lane is going very poorly. And now the off lane, who's the initiator, who's gonna make Klinks' life hard, is also getting a lot of farm. Okay, who's the primary target? They're looking for this undying. Now remember this is an undying, he's a relatively tanky hero, gonna bring up the tombstone as well. Gonna turn on to Boomy. They can't quite kill the undying as of yet. They're still trying to run away. Not quite dead yet. They're still flinging themselves around here. What are they trying to do? They're gonna go for Boccarino. Looks like they will. They will have to sack Spot. Buys back. Buys nice, back. Nice, nice. Seven minute buyback. Do they have the damage for this? They throw their dagger. They're still chasing him. There's the lift as well. And that should be Boccarino going down. Nico not gonna die. Oh, there you we go. You really did not want to have to take that kill, but he did not have the choice. No choice. It's getting more and more crazy now. Oh, <laughs> who's coming in from the back here? Well, who's this? Necro? Oh. Well, do you guys satisfy when you scythe someone? It's it's getting better. The storm one pleased me greatly. Yeah. The crystal maiden one, they're just trying to pander to me now. Is there is? I feel like scything is one of the most satisfying things in Dota. Oh yeah, yes. and culling blade. Culling no. blade too. No, yeah. no, Laguna, Laguna, it's, it's and Laguna, 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 Laguna and fingers pretty good, but. Just knowing that somebody's being dead for an uh, extra 40 true, seconds true. or something. No, no other of those spells have the same emotional damage. Yeah, right. you know that the morale is just affected. I got you. Oh man, look at all these people just t trickling in for Admiral. Is this trickling any good though? There's Dude, so many rod. heroes an here. Eight, eight minute rod. Oh my goodness, this is just an absolute bloodbath. Spartan's gonna go down, Benson is coming. Back. Dagger, gonna try and go into Rio, but Benson? Is he gonna kill Nico? Nico doesn't want to die, but this clinks is just gonna hit super hard. Can you dodge? Oh, One more. Oh, oh, oh the dodge! Oh, the miss. Miss. Okay, Ben, so he's like, no. No! No, don't get away from me. Okay, there's a <laughs> chance. <laughs> Not Dukes. Dukes? No Dukes. Oh. No Dukes. Oh, oh Duke. Duke. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> he was like shaking his hip to dodge that arrow. He's trying. There's no way to dodge that though. It's hard to be a Duke Lord. If he had a TP, fine. you know, maybe. No boots, Atos. Never seen that one before. Yeah, that's Welcome to see. That's, that's some a new flavor. One. So far, the only person to not participate in any of these fights is Magnus. Yeah. And that makes me a little bit suspicious. I think that's good though. Like, I, th I think. Oh, I yeah, no. I, I'm, I'm suspicious oh, if I'm Admiral. Oh, yeah, okay. for sure. Oh, speaking of. Speaking of. Speaking of the devil. Bensley? Okay, there we go. Finally goes down. That did go well, Phantom Assassin. 
that one very well. 3x killing streak gone the way of Phantom Assassin. First RP of the game, success. Yeah, surprisingly, without without the blink dagger. Dota Dota's in this weird state right now. Like there was this period where you would give your tempo controller, which would be presumably the off laner, one of your tempo controllers would be the off lane in the mid. But more okay, speaking of tempo controller, Lacrity's trying to do just that. Okay, Scythe, not not so satisfying that one. That was a bit underwhelming. And what's the plan here? It doesn't seem like they they really know what they want to do. Decrep, oh. decrep, oh, oh. decrep. That he almost got close. heart stopped though, but he's gonna get he out. Did. Okay, and Clinks will finish off KYXY, looking for the PA, and look at that minus armor. There we go. There's so much free space on the map to be farming right now, dude. Why farm? I swear if one hero was taking the space, it would be so good. <laughs> like, it was the Magnus for a while. Yeah. I, I like that he used his RP, though. Like, that hero's really good at doing these, like, defensive rotations. But what, with the RP being down, he definitely wants to go farm. On the top lane, now we have Pugna. So he's going to be taking some space. Magnus does have an invis room. Radiant oh, look at all those TPs. I think the uh, Emerald Heroes gotta depend on um, some important items like Black King Bar and all those stuff. Yeah. Uh, it's especially on the uh, their damage dealer. Rest in Bokrino. Rest in Bokrino. That's if they want to play defensively, though. If they mm. want to play offensively, like we were saying, then Storm's going to need something like a Bloodthorn so that he can try to get solo picks. And Klinks is playing offensive. He got a Medallion. Yeah. So these are... They, they understand that they want to win early. You don't pick Pugna and these pushing heroes into a Magnus lineup unless you think that you can beat the enemy team in like 30 minutes or so. Yeah, I think I think it's I think they definitely do want to win early. The Necrophos too is another hero who, maybe in terms of damage in the late game, he's oh, that's oh an RP. no, can they kill him in time? Storm zips out. Okay, kills like the, the high ground. Oh. Oh. He's looking for the dagger. Okay, Nico really wants oh to get this dagger God. in. Need the vision. You see Jamesy? You see the crit? zip? No. Oh, nice zip. Dude, Jamesy zipping in. Oh, the Is he fly. Insane? Oh, Nico. Oh, he gets the kill anyway. Oh, my God. And then there's God. no damage anymore. Boomy's just sitting in the back, running away from the necro. Rio is just like, why? Okay. Bokrino, save the game. Save the game. Save the fight. Alacra doesn't have any mana. He didn't get the kill. Oh, on. the Nyx is just burning. Oh, that mana. too. Yeah, That's yeah. That's so obnoxious. Once again, we're in the scenario, which is all five heroes on both teams running out one lane. <laughs> it was just the bottom lane for a while, and now it's just the top lane. So it's the exact same thing. Well, if we keep running into a big team fight like this, uh, it's Clutch Gamer who's going to win because um, that, that continuous stifling dagger is just killing them. It's so low cooldown and just use it all the time. Yeah, well, the, ne the Necro Aura too, and the Necro Spam. Dude, but he doesn't have any mana to do it. <laughs> <Yeah>, that, <laughs> that, that is the one unfortunate <laughs> thing. Oh, Alacrity, he's overstepped the bounds. That CM is huge. Oh my goodness, nothing to cancel as well. But they're fighting into a tombstone. Oh, though. okay, it ended. JNT has no mana either. Nice pushback, that was really good. <laughs> Spartan, they have no what damage. They have damage. Can. Do they have damage? Killing there we go. Nico yeah. baby's still here. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like even, they're fighting on something, it's still even. Uh, leave them be, okay? I, I like this. I'm happy with this. Dude, my boy Boomy is, like, single-handedly responsible for Admiral, like, being able to sustain for this long. He is making Necro's life hell. He really is. <laughs> this, this, may I remind you, he, this dude had an eight-minute rod of ATOS, yeah, this, and he can't do anything. The, the fight would actually be going so terribly for Admiral if it wasn't for the Nyx assassin. Yeah. Just constantly <laughs> sitting on the Necro and burning his mana. Nico's even gone for Hooded Defiance. He's just said, I've had enough of this magical BS. God No damn. more magical damage. Phase Boots Hood. He's just going to fight. It's, it's painful to watch to see uh, Phantom Lancer. Uh, I'm sorry, Phantom Lancer going for something not... The damage first. Why? He's he's got some good damage. He's got the he's got because damage. we are from Southeast Asia. Who cares about the Black King Bar? <laughs> oh, you know, okay. The boring Thanks King Bar. Yeah, exactly. The, the hood of With boring. The <laughs> super <laughs> nice no, the hood super aggressive Actually, damage and stuff, and died and lost the game because no Black King Bar and getting report and spam. <laughs> that that that's why we born for. Oh, the baits. The baits into the the tier one. This is a classic right here. Usually it's a support. And he just runs away. He puts a sentry in to try to scout him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, also. Middle lane, though. His heroes. Nice little gank onto Alacrity. Alacrity's oh down. No. Tower's going to go down as well. Oh, they did find the Pugna. Dude, Alacrity's kind of feeding his net worth back into Admiral. Yeah. Like, this is the thing with Storm. Is you give him a couple of kills, and he's back. And uh, 
It's a very, very scare, scary hero to have an advantage if you're uh, a team that only has RP and Rubik Lift to, to disable you. Sorry, Reaper Scythe. I forgot about that one. The two minute long cooldown, 1.5 <laughs> second disable. The most reliable. Uh, Dyer, yes, yes, very reliable. Dia Courier died. Um, yeah, don't ask why. Hmm. It was right there. Okay. Okay. Maybe a misclick? Perhaps. Okay, Boomy looking for a free bounty. He gets it. Steals the bounty right from in front of him. That's pretty annoying. No detection. The what a Skylark I have. Does he have treads? Why is he so tanky? No, he's just got a 1,400 HP. What's Magnus's level 10 talent? He has an HP talent. Attack speed. But he didn't oh, go for it. <laughs> he went for the attack speed. He went, for, he went for mana boots and then the attack speed. Okay. Interesting choice. Maybe he just wants to go all out fighting. Oh, this one must be... Oh, the stun on Telacrity. Oh. I mean, it's such a low stun duration of level one. Oh, the oh, stolen? stolen? Okay. But he's dead. Oh, nice oh RP. my goodness. Catching out both. And they're both going to die. Boomy? Boomy is dead for sure. Okay, if he can live for 15 seconds, he might be okay. Detection? The carapace of the gods. Detection? Oh my god, it, it stunned all three of them. There's no detection. Can he live? 10 seconds? Okay, no. No 10 seconds. He just died to the, to the aura. Once again, an Amaral approach first. Look. And then... Look at the build on Nyx. He's got max mana burn, two in stun. That's a man who knows what he's <laughs> all about. <laughs> he knows what he wants to do in this game. Dude. No wonder he's burning all of their mana. He knows what it's a four second <laughs> cooldown. <laughs> and he has a maiden on his team, so he doesn't even need to worry about mana regen yeah, exactly. himself. He can just spam it for days. You know what would make Nyx so good if he got the mana that he that he burned? Whoa. Well, that makes it insane. Whoa. There might be a hero that. That was back in the the, the heyday of EMP Invoker. God, I mean, whenever EMP used to hit while you were inside the tornado. Oh, I hate that one. Those were dark days. Was that in Dota 2? Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was terrible. Damn, dude, that sounds crazy. I yeah. don't remember that. I kind of remember it. I oh, kind of don't. There's been so many patches. That was one of those. Oh, they know. One of those moments. They in know Dota the bug is like, here. That's what this game is. See the sight? Get out of range. Not have the sight. Just on the edge. Oh, oh Ru so. Rubik has the. The Vendetta, that, that's potentially some good setup on the Storm if uh, they have the Scythe. They can actually kill him. Only two points in TK, though. They could though. find him. They could find him. He's sticking around that middle lane. Oh, this is deadly. All right. Did, they, did they have the Scythe up? No, not yet. No. no. Oh, they found someone in the back, though. Okay, they see They see the clinks. They're backing up. He's a Monkey King bar. Yeah. Wow. I was I was about to say what? that that is quite a fast farm. It's such an under-pressure game. Top he, he wants to kill PA. <laughs> Oh, they oh. killed him. There we go. Oh, they did do it. Oh. Sorry. I my bad. Monkey King bar first. He really... I mean, yeah. He, he got the medallion as if he wanted to fight early, and then he was like, now you guys got it under control. You know, I mean, my boy Nick Assassin's got it under yeah, control. Exactly. I'm going to go get an MKB. I'll see you guys later. You know, I mean, you don't need to worry about the PA with the Storm if, you're, if your Clinks is... I mean, usually you'd see Clinks as a hero that, like, really can't deal with the PA until, you know, three or four... I'd, Four items in. Yeah. Maybe it was just that one miss earlier in the game. Oh, yeah, like, he's okay. <laughs> he's yeah. done. He's, he's just like, screw this miss. A poorer man would have gone for Solar Crest, but he's like, nah, man. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess Storm Storm can just deal with the Necro yeah. in this game. Miku? Yeah. Super far out. Can I find him? Damn, he daggers from He's got big balls. Oh. Okay. Oh, no. What's the, what's the play here, actually? No one really knows what they want to do. Admiral backs up, and then Boomy sticks around, and then there's a Storm Spirit in the back. Oh, God, there we go. Get the small cone to Undying. Everyone's abandoning the fight now. What What is Storm going for, item-wise? Uh, he is going for... Oh, he's going for the Orchid. Okay. I feel like you don't really need the Bloodstone anymore. So once again, that I, I, I noticed that uh, every time that they go into the team fight uh, uh, in this game for Clash Gamers, their positioning is not in a range that they can help each other. It's not that their position is not complement each other. they got to be careful because if this PA gets this Deso in the middle of a fight, that'll be a massive surprise. Yeah, the team fight lives and dies on Magnus RPs. If Magnus doesn't initiate, then everyone's just kind of like, uh, what do I do? And even Necro got a rod first. We're not really seeing that to start fights. It's I think, more like... Yeah, I think Boomy could... Okay, wait. If Boomy comes over to the side, he would have been able to cut off that Deso. I think the oh, way that they want... The way that they want to play is, like, send the send the Necro in first. He's very tanky. He went for Rod of Atos. Like you said, he can start the fights. And then have the Magnus RP afterwards. 
like use the Magnus as more of a counter initiator, which is why th they would want to have their position and complement each other in these oh. fights. Smoke got broken. But that's by not going to happen with this. Uh, like th they have two Invis heroes and they have a Storm Spirit. They are not going to be grouped at any time. All three of these heroes are randomly scouting out the map. I mean, that's th but that's why you have to like force the fights where you you make yourself look re really juicy on the Necroforce, or, or you put yourself in a position where like you're killing a hero that's really important that they want to save. It's like forget about their positioning. Like in an ideal world, yeah, like you're right, they they definitely wouldn't be out of position, but you want to force them into that position by making things really chaotic. Yeah. All right, first cheese. This oh, is no. an okay. expensive Roche. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, I feel like the, um, the role of Roshan is actually less more important in the, the latest part fight. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, latest part at uh, 7.19D because I remember in in TI8, uh, Roshan is pretty much everything. They're trying to yeah. get Roshan as soon as possible. Why are they getting, like, the last game, the King said that, why nobody even care about the Roshan? I did say that, yes. It's, uh, so I think one of the reasons is that you start so as soon as you kill the first Roche, then you need to start worrying about the cheese on the second Roche, and then the Refresher Shard on the third Roche. And so whenever you take that first Roche, you're like breaking the seal. Where it's like, okay, every now, every single 8 to 10 minutes, you're all going to have to worry about this. It's also like when there's this global understanding of how important Roche is, people get so scared of fighting it because it's like, okay, well, they're going to commit to a Roche fight and just wipe us. Yeah. Like, we know how important both teams think that, think that the Roche is, so it's like this awkward standoff. Speaking of awkward standoffs, Storm waiting in the trees. I don't know if that's the hero that you kill, though. He's got an Aegis. Yeah. The Nyx was around as well. They were thinking about it, but I'm pretty sure they're sniffing out the sentry. Yeah, they're teeping You out. can't do it unless Klinx is there. Yeah. And Klinx is chilling in the top lane. Yeah, he's having a good time up there. Showing, too, so feeling pretty safe. His here. net worth is pretty good, too. He's the only one with any real net worth. How is he farming? Like, what is he, what is he farming? He's just not fighting at all. Like, he took that tier 2 while they were... Uh, he took the tier 2 bot while Radiant was roshing. So he's and sp splitting up the map. Pretty much. I mean, I think I I if he ever finds out that PA is all alone, then he'll go. But PA isn't ever alone. He's sh she constantly has him power, so he's like, yeah, Magnus is following her around. Oh. oh. There we go. Well, at least one thing that Emerald improved in this game is the um, when somebody made a mistake, uh, for example, the last game, that someone go, oh, wait. Take a oh, Bensoi is dead. Bensoi is dead. Goodbye, Bensoi. 81 seconds. But that's hell long. Well, like, like uh, at the last game, I remember there were so many times that all the supporters trying to go to place and observe awards and got caught. And then once they got caught, all the whole Buckringer. team just in. Oh! oh my goodness, they used an RP. It's all good. He still dies either way. Yeah. That's right. A, isn't that an opening? Is he? Is he? Oh, he's running. He, oh, no! He's, he's going to get away from that. It's a skeleton being chased by a skull. <laughs> Oh, they, they this didn't. is the most wow. Halloween shit I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Predicted KYXY, not bad. The hard reads. Oh, Meanwhile. okay, who is that? Crystal Mate. Oh, okay. Aegis claimed. They got support coming in. They're, they're just bailing. They saw Alacrity come in. Oh. Well, now it's time to rush down towers and maybe Boomy, but he gets out of yeah, with Vendetta. Two points in stun. I'm seeing this build more and more. People are either maxing Carapace oh. or the Mana Burn. Yeah, Case. Carapace is the... That's more chaos, like you were saying. No it's one expects to get stunned yeah. randomly like that. It's kind of like almost the reason that you pick Nyx Assassin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay, I'm going to Carapace the Necro. I'm going to Carapace the Ember Spirit Shield. Like, all of these just pulsating things. You're not expecting to be stunned in the fight. What about the Impale with the Ravage? I mean, uh, if you get uh, it, that'd be great. You know, <laughs> maybe the... the I mean, if you're that grouped up, though, then Magnus the is going to RP you. <laughs> yeah, the, the days of Impale Ravages, man, they're over. They're gone. It's all about those uh, surprise solo pickoffs with the Carapace. Look, Storm's item's looking like almost has the Orchid. Once he has the Orchid, it's a lot easier to deal with the Necro. Does the Necro have any sort of purge? Nope. Oh, he has the Yules. Oh, yeah, sorry, okay. he has the Yules, yes. Still, for still, it's, you know, you can you can force the Yules out, which is not something that he wants. Oh, oh. goodbye, Crystal Maiden. Oh, dear, goodbye, Pugna. Scythe that man. Oh, never mind, going for Boomy instead. They say, okay, Bakarine, you're on the low ground anyway. We're just... You know why he scythe the Pugna? Because the Pugna is the counter pick to him. I do that too. It's like, you know what? You want to play a counter to my hero? I'm going to scythe you right in the face. Wait, what about Nyx Assassin? Nah, that doesn't matter, man. Pugna's like the hardest counter to Necro in the yeah. game. 
Unfortunately, there are no creeps here, and this tower is just not taking damage. I don't think they care. It doesn't some matter. Reason. No, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Just look at Benso. Benso's mid. He's already threatening. He forces someone to TP back. Yeah. And they Ooh, RP. That's okay. An RP. RP the the bug. Worth it as long as you get the assist and your hard carry get the kill. You can just spam RP all day. Benso is really looking for opportunities to just grab towers. He doesn't yeah. want to engage into anyone at all. Oh, here he goes. I like how he builds all this stuff to fight and then just never fights. He builds the medallion for hey mid-game dominance. He's got some mana regen. That's man. true, yeah, <laughs> so, so that's what it is. He builds the exactly. medallion for the mana regen. He builds the MKB for the extra damage and the attack speed. Attack speed, yeah, yeah. And the Orchid is just more mana region, I guess. Yeah, exactly. I guess it's also, he's also just gone for this sort of little pick-off build as well. Like, if he runs into someone and he knows there's That's no backup, cool. he can kill them. Yeah. In, yeah. yeah. like, his adventures, if he finds some some loot, he'll take it. You but, know? I mean, for the type of style that he's playing, like, something like a Desolator would have been far more valuable. Yeah, but for sure. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, to play that kind of style, you need you need a great vision, too. Oh. That's true. And the Nyx Assassin on his team is playing more defensive, but now... Nice Goodbye catch. Mag. That's a freebie. Nice catch. God, the amount of damage coming from these two heroes is oh, absolutely insane. Oh, the middle lane. Oh my goodness, this is absolute chaos. Force buyback for the Crystal Maiden. I have to say, that was an interesting play. Alacrity blinking down. Bensoy going to try and man up, but he just is destroyed. This is what happens when you go for the glass cannon build. You Ultra kill. You have no defense mechanisms. Oh, that's a rampage. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh. Give, Give him the rampage. Give Come it on. to her. There oh, we go. New meta. <laughs> well, I don't think Admiral's looking that good at all. Well, mm. first rampage in our Southeast Asia, right from the first match. There we go. Second, second game. First no. series. Yep. Yeah, that spiraled out of control very quickly. Oh, still mana burning the Necrophos, though. <laughs> That's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it forward? No, not really. Oh, he's healing. Say. He's using the heal to heal. What is this? Unprecedented. What, what patch is this? I don't know. What hero is this? What the hell, man? What is this, TI-1? Looks like a support hero to me now. Yeah, God. Well, they yeah. back off. I didn't think they would do it, but by golly, they actually did. I have to say, Admiral, I was expecting them to do a little bit better. I guess their draft just became a little too gimmicky, especially with the item choices that they went for. Yeah. Oh, Bokarina is going to drop here as well. That's something we had an issue with in their game one as well. Lack of force staffs. Everyone wants to build fun, big red number items. No one wants to build defensive stuff. It seems to me like they've resigned themselves to, like, a losing game. Like, the Klinks is constantly split pushing. Like, the Storm is, like, exclusively looking for pickoffs. They're not flying together at all. It's like... Who's yeah, that's a good point. Who's not to say that you can't just fight, you know? If you just take a good fight, you just go in the Magnus first and then take yeah. a good fight with the smoke. Have we seen a single smoke from them in this game? No. no. But, but, just but the thing is, you don't have any tanker or, or a strong initiator to go in. Something like, you know, that, that can just go in without strong AOE yeah, spells to set Look, up. this is what happens when you draft a whole lineup full of midgets. You've got no one to stand <laughs> that's in behind. The, exactly. <laughs> so, unfortunately, there's no meat shields. They need some normal sized people in this. It's too tiny. They're too small. This is what happens. I think you can still transition a pick off though to like a smoke. Oh my goodness. Oh no. You have to smoke in your fountain because <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to have much distance to cover. <laughs> what do you think about the last big storm? I, did, I didn't like it. You needed something like I, I, I wanted like something like a too. DK. Something like. Yes, DK, yes. Uh, they could have made it work, I think. They could have made it work, but they needed to stabilize that storm lane because he just got knocked out of the park by the yeah, Necrophos. Yeah, that is true. At least equalize his lane, make it a little bit easier. Maybe maybe even sack a different lane, you know? Because the Klinks was doing fine up top, but the thing was he was equalizing with the Magnus as well. He, he did come back online, though. Like, I do think that the draft was an issue in terms of he had way too hard of a lane. As a last pick, it's totally unnecessary to give yourself that hard of a lane, but... I, th I think that they could have made some play improvements and still won this game. Like, they had a lot of pickoffs, like, with the Clinks and the Storm. We saw how much damage they did to that Magnus. Imagine if they transitioned that into, like, one or two kills and then an objective, and then maybe Roshan, and then they do it again, and then again, and then again. And then they had all Oh, the there's a gem on Magnus. Oh, oh damn. He, he tries Ooh. to go. Okay. I think the window is too small, even if they do manage to convert the Storm Spirit well enough. Because, like... PA and Magnus. Oh, Scythe. BKB is up on Nico and it just gets popped. Okay, can they do anything with this? Nico, still running around with BKB, just jumps right onto the Crystal Maiden. Oh my goodness. 1.3k crit. 
Boomy stuck fighting the zombie apocalypse, trying to at least join into the Walking Dead cast. So they've got an extra spot now. Like, wham! It's a lot of extra spots, actually. I hear they're all, all the actors are putting. <laughs> <laughs> Even Rick Grimes, man, the, the lead that, actor. Oh, really? Look, let's, let's be real. Okay, the show just it's just gone downhill. I can understand why there's spots opening up. The downhill since episode one. Got him. It's, it's uh, quite easy to I, I thought it was fine for season two, and then it just started to get I actually a bit liked, I liked a lot of the seasons. The governor was awesome, man. Oh, he, he was... He was brutal. I thought Michonne was pretty cool. With the two, like her brothers. Oh. Yeah. She was kick-ass. Is she dead yet? She, she's probably gonna die. No she dies. Like anyway. <laughs> oh, Clinks does. Just yeah, wait, when I see the rat, I, I kind of... Oh, uh, okay, maybe he is dead now. There's oh, the bash. Jukes? Homie's got a gem. Jukes for days? He's got no blink. Oh, oh. Okay, there we go. Ooh, get the bow. Dig into the face. All right. Getting the bow and becoming the um, mythic sauce. Uh, like in the intro, that they throw in the rat. <laughs> 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 oh, did they throw bones in the pot? Yeah, seven bones. Yeah. Oh. Bones seven. That was <laughs> and then there was a, the rat of alliance. Rat of alliance. <laughs> yep. And this tiniest and the tiny hand, hand of, of Grand Grand. <laughs> Where did that hand come from? He has large hands, you know? Really? Unless he's yeah. like Deadpool and like he, they, he kind of regrows, Regenerates. so they're just like little tiny hands. So t t t we'll just take this little piece of Grant. You can grow it back. It's all good. Like a starfish. <laughs> I mean, he chews on thumb, literally chews on thumbtack, so it wouldn't surprise me if he regenerated. How do you, what is it, how do you chew on a thumbtack? Uh, beats me, dude. With like like a lollipop or something? No, <laughs> just kind of like oh. sucks on it like a pacifier? Yeah, I see like a pacifier. Exactly. dies? Jesus. Look at the loot on that too. That's the Abyssal Blade recipe. Dude, the darkest dungeon announcer would have a special line for that. Apparently the more net worth the courier has when it dies, he has different lines. Really? That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. How and about that Gabe Newell? That's the one that we have right now, I think, because Daly's using my account. Yeah, using your account, <laughs> sorry. And he's all like, if you were a millennial, I would say Wicked Sick. That's a good impression. Thank you. You have a good voice. <laughs> uh, have we told you that? Oh, you're just sucking up at the king now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Crystal Maiden, life is saved. Could they kill the PA? Pops BKB just jumps. He's still running. Oh, missing that one. Oh, boy. No one saw that Skylark. Yes, no and they oh, no. They lose the clicks yeah, right died off the bat. 120 seconds. Very good. If he buys back. He can't. Wait, oh. Wait, did he buy something and then... I think he just sold he might it. Have sold. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he had it. Uh, what's going on? I think he bought his BKB and then he was like, wait, okay. no. Oh, he disassembled it and then uh, sold it. I think yeah. that's what we have. So, what's the play coming out from Admiral? They've got heroes all over the place. They have Boomy here in the middle lane, they've got Jamesy. Down here, they've got Boccarino. Where's their team? I, I think they're just in mode loose. Right. Like, oh. oh. There we go. That's so dang, really. We're just dancing in the trees, can't really do anything. Oh, could kill, could kill Nico. Nah, eat the cheese. Eat the cheese. She still has Aegis also. Yep. There we go. Let's finally go down. Oh, what's he steal? Oh, he stole the zip. KYXY. He does not have the mana for it though. God, what a world we live in where Clinks died because he got Reaper Scythe, bought back, and he's dead for less time <laughs> after <laughs> buying back. <laughs> What? Brave new patch that we're uh, in, Jenkins. That was such a stomp. We just instantly came back to to us. No, uh, we don't even want to see the victory because not really. We it's all, all about a hero, so you think? The draft was uh, something uh, that I, don't I expected something stronger from Admiral. I feel like they were trying things in the game. They were just like, hey, let's try this like new gimmicky stuff and see if it works. Well, you, you should not do that when you are down no, one zero yeah, <laughs> in agree. a base of two series. I don't think it's... If it was your draft, what would you have fifth picked instead of Storm Spirit? I, Tanker. I, I think... Okay, let's see. So, that's the previous game. I don't remember what the draft no, was, but... Not I, 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 they needed something that wasn't so farm desperate. Because Storm needs oh, there farm, it is, right? There it is. So you you have you have Pugna you have Clinks those are two tower seizures you don't need any tower siege yeah um, and I don't think you need any pick off either some like you have a Nyx assassin and a Clinks maybe some like Timber Saw Dragonite would be good although he has unnecessary s amounts of siege but you know doubling up on that's not all that bad I, th I do think the DK would be good but I I don't think it's necessarily fair to blame the draft because I think there was like. 30 minutes were, well, maybe not 30 minutes, but there were, there was quite some time where they just weren't doing anything. Like they were literally just split pushing, looking for pickoffs, which is fine if you're in kind of like an efficiency state of the game where you just want to farm. But 
that's not going to win you Dota. Like, unless you transition that into something, you know? Like, you need to take a pick off and transition it into Roche. It seemed like they were literally just scrounging for, like, whatever they could get on the map and then taking farm with the pickoffs. But they don't win the late game against against Magnus PA. Like, they needed to make moves, and they weren't making moves. Yeah, it's and like they were waiting to convert on a mistake. Right, exactly, exactly. It's like, I, all right, we're, we're on the edge. I mean, as soon as you mess up, we're going to win this game, and then Clutch Gapers just never messed up. I, I yeah, say, exactly. I want to say they're a little reminiscent of Clutch last game. It seemed like they were trying to do what Clutch was doing last game, which was split pushing, trying to draw attention all over the map so that they would be able to farm elsewhere. But, like, whenever they did that, they just weren't getting a farm on their necessary heroes. And they didn't have a train protector to keep all your towers up in the meanwhile. Exactly. Clutch Gamers got away with it because they were like, yeah, I mean, you can spread us thin, but you're not going to take any objectives in the meantime. You're not going to get any more map control. Yeah, for sure. I think, I think like, a, that sort of play style works if you have the heroes for it, but they certainly didn't have the heroes for it. I think what you said is, like, very accurate. They were waiting for a mistake to happen, but it's like, you don't just wait against a yeah. lineup that's way better than you in the late game. You'll yeah. just eventually lose. So I think we can say that Emerald Dota, uh, that the biggest homework is the draft and also the time management. Uh, I, I feel like they, the time management is still not good at all. They, they waste a lot of time doing something that is not that impact to the game. Well, that's a wrap for the um, first series, and our victory is Clutch Gamers 2-0 against Team Admiral. I think we all thought we all thought it was going to be... I uh, thought it was going to be Admiral, Admiral, but... So we, we, we have an interview at some point oh. with one of the players. How mysterious. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what player... If you had to pick a player from Clutch Gamers, Cyclops, uh -huh. to interview, who would it be? Um, from Clutch Gamers. Well, I think it's going to be Skylark. You think so? Yeah. Is he the most vocal? Spartan's the most vocal. Oh, well. That <laughs> dude you can't even keep a lid on, man. That's true. <laughs> Skylark. Why yeah. Skylark? Um, I don't know. Because he's playing Magnus. <laughs> <laughs> from his performance, I, I, I kind of like his performance in game one, especially... Um, the the parent brew master, you remember? Uh, I think he actually won that one. Yeah, yeah he, for he's sure. he's just like a backbone of the team. Like um, when it comes to team fight, we always see him there with a lot of bears. And yeah, I kind of kind of like bears. <laughs> <laughs> oh, picks the interview because he likes bears. Okay. I think I think he definitely played well in both of the games. Kind of like uh, I think what you said is accurate. Like backbone, but I guess in the sense that like people they would always fight around him. Like, whenever a big fight would happen, he would be there. Uh, with the Magnus, he even chose to fight without the Blink Dagger. Yeah. Uh, making making a lane rotation. And he wasn't being selfish. He, like, he was constantly follow following PA around, making sure that she had Empower, like, at all times. He wasn't like, all right, I'll give you one, and then, you know, I'll catch you in, like, five minutes and right. give you another one or something like that. I think I think a big thing that I take from, from watching this series is that what Cyclops said about the fact that C, Dota, seems, at least, at least he with um, the mid-game rotations and yeah. ending ending the laning phase with a with a rotation for an actual objective, like it seems like there's a lot of moves that are made for kills, but not necessarily because they're trying to orient themselves uh, around something on the map. Like they're not trying to go it's for Roche. Kills for the sake of kills. It's kind of kills for the sake of kills, and then hoping that something happens from it. And you mentioned that like the Tram Protector, if you play that sort of side, you have a tree, you're gonna win yeah. because though that that residual kind of tower damage isn't going to matter. You're just going to eventually get to the point where you have a bunch of towers on their side and they don't have any towers on your side because you have a train protector. But I, I think if, I think if either team focused more on objectives and try to take like one big smoke play, like m more so um, putting a lot more focus on the on making better but less frequent moves as opposed to just constantly making it's moves. Quality, not quantity. Right. I feel like that team would would definitely. Uh, have an advantage if especially if they were the team that was not favored to just win in the late game that's why fanatic with their three shot callers are so effective. exactly <laughs> there you go you, you the more the better moves that you can make the more likely you're going to win the game the good news for emerald dota is all these problems that they occur in the first series of this tournament is um, time management and the drop, it still can fix oh you got plenty of time this is yeah. day this one is, series one yeah this is but but if the problem is becoming like personal skills or landing skills, no, you you won't be able to fix in in within this tournament. Which Jamesy wasn't really up to the par that I was hoping he I would don't be know. in this I game. What do you think? Well, yeah. I, 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 
can you blame him though? No, considering the it's circumstance hard. That but he but was that's in? I, I don't know. Like Admiral's resources, like you said, time management, time management, but also how they choose to delegate their resources. Like it didn't seem to help who was most important to their game. Like they fifth pick Storm. And they just left him on an island. Yeah, I think I think it's okay. <laughs> like d different teams win the game at different periods. Some some teams are really good at laning. Some teams are really good at like making lane rotations. Some teams are really good at the mid game. I think if you're gonna if you're gonna sack a lane like that, especially with the last pick, you better be good at making yeah. a, a really solid lane rotation to get it back. You know, it seems like they kind of did come back eventually at some point, but just by sheer luck that the storm was involved in like two or three pickoffs. But if you're if you're if you're going to draft like that, you definitely want to make better lane rotations. And teams do that. We, we see there's plenty of teams in, in the North American um, version of King's Cup that uh, they're, they're picking like some Visage off lane, getting completely crushed, but then they do good things in the mid game to justify the fact that you have this really weak hero that was weak in the laning phase, but perhaps good in the game. So I, I, th I think definitely if, if they're going to draft like that, they probably want to play around that, you know? Yeah. If anything, I really feel like Jamesy needs a hero that like Tiny, something that doesn't need as much farm, can Let's dominate the mid game. Because we saw him t play on the Tiny last game, right? He got pickoffs when he needed to, he was getting those kills, he was initiating. You put him on a weak hero like Storm, it, it feels like they limited his capacity. And they, yeah. didn't, they just didn't give him that space wasn't to do what he wanted. Wasn't Jamesy an offlaner at a point? Um, or am I totally... Not sure. Because I, I, feel, I feel like he looks really good on the more fighty heroes. But <laughs> do, we, do we have an interview? Are we good to go for a... Post game. It's a great question. Do we do we do? Just waiting for. So we'll have a we'll have a player on the line in a couple of seconds. Maybe. I'll deem whenever it's necessary. Okay. Depends right now, I, I want you guys to, to I want you guys to struggle a little bit more. Hello. Oh. Oh. Hi. Oh. This is <laughs> innovative. What? <laughs> like we have the post game interview, unlike other tournaments, it's just. Uh, this is King's yeah. Cup technology, my friend. <laughs> right. It's called it's called telepathy. Oh, you're right. It's Skylark. Hello, Skylark. Okay. Oh. Uh, I think he typed hello. Man, there's some <laughs> sweet Cherry MX blues that I'm hearing. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear us? Hello. Oh, okay. It sounds it sounds like a solid keyboard. It does that's for sure. <laughs> Better than Trent's keyboard. Mechan yeah, Jesus, don't even get don't even get him started. <laughs> he was getting defensive. I know. He was, he was like, "I'll have you know, my brother had this in 2013, and he passed it down to me." I'm like, "That's not something to be proud of, dude. Just buy a new keyboard." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude, you were railing into him on that, dude. You're, you're I, going I pretty choose, hard. I picked my battles. Yeah, that's uh, that's a pretty shitty keyboard. Wait till you see mine, dude. You gotta take pride in your equipment. It's a it's like a Logitech. The keys are like. It's not mechanical, obviously. <sighs> the keys are... Do you clean it? Oh, yeah, of course. I use Corsair. Corsair? Okay. <laughs> we, don't, we don't have any of these sp <laughs> sponsoring the event. So. Uh, yeah. You know, we do have sponsoring the event, though. Monster Energy. Oh, let me go ahead and open this. Sennheiser. Uh, Sennheiser, Sennheiser headsets. We need to hear... It. Shh, well, shh, listen, shh. listen. Shh. Oh. Oh, man. Oh. That's some delicious Monster uh, Energy Zero Ultra. Oh, have we got oh, hello, on Skylark? the Skylark? Hello, guys. What's up? Not that much. How are you feeling after that game? Those games. Uh, pretty good. It's pretty chaotic at the end, but I liked uh, it. Playing my heroes at the <laughs> end or throughout the entire game, because I saw that Brewmaster game. I saw this, this Magnus game. It didn't really seem like either of your teams let off the pedal at any point. Are you like I know back in your ad finum days that was kind of par for the course. But how is Southeast Asia treating you right now? Mm, it's pretty good, pretty different than Europe, uh, from the screams to official to even the lifestyle here. So, I'm, but I know the games are chaotic because the meta is chaotic right now. Like, seriously, it's like 50 kills each team every game. I don't know what's happening. Are people doing support acts yet in uh, SCA Dota? Is that a is that a thing? I mean, we screamed against this pick, but they don't have much success yet. <laughs> yeah. Only <laughs> only Eternal Envy had success, I think. Yeah. Maybe Poppy too. Yeah, Poppy's looking good with the with the support axe. Uh, what about support Magnus? I think we need to get someone else to ask <laughs> questions. You know, we can yeah. get something. Right. Um, I I just want to know about it, the game uh, the game plan in the game two after you win the game one. You you leading one zero. What's 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 the um, what's your thought about uh before you go into the draft? Like what kind of strat you are aiming into that on that one? I mean, we we got a lot. We don't think about the opponent too much because we kind of know in our heads, at least against this team, we are, we are the better team. 
So we have our, our drafts prepared already. So we'll see how the draft goes and we, we're going with it, you know? We yeah. don't have like all the draft pre-planned and we just go and fight them, you know? We have our in-game plans as well and that's it. Yeah, it's, to me, it was a little bit surprising. I'm more used to seeing Magnuses be more selfish, typically, when it comes to an offlane core position. Especially whenever you were left alone with Clinks for a while, I assumed that, you know, you'd wait until you get your Blink Dagger and, you know, then maybe try to get more items yourself, get like a BKB or something. But you went for an RP just with like Arcane Boots, you TP to the bot lane, and then you were just following PA around a lot of the times, giving her Empower, as opposed to just being more self-serving and trying to farm yourself up. Was that something that you do typically in your games or just because you knew specifically here your PA is going to carry the game, that's all you need to worry about? I mean, first of all, you know, you got to defend those towers. You know, you cannot just let them go and yeah. say, I have I have 1,000 gold to blink, you know? So priority is to defend some towers when you can. And obviously, I need to follow around PA. PA is our main core this game. And it didn't really harm me too much from my from my game. Like, I know how to balance it out well. That's why I do it. Well, you delivered in spades a 2-0 against what we were initially considering to be the favorites of Admiral, but we were proven wrong and more than happy to do so. So best of luck with the rest of Thank King's you, Cup. Man. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, wait, what, what, one Thank more you, question. Um, are, are you having a, a team house in Bangkok now? Yes, we are all in oh! Bangkok. Everyone. Nice one, man. <laughs> He's like, yes, I can visit. <laughs> you got a great food there. Sure, man. Right. You're welcome here. Yeah. Everybody is. <laughs> Thank you. All right, thank you guys. See you. All right, bye bye. Thanks. You got your boy, and yeah. now you got an I know all it. my boy. You can hit him up. You hit him up in his crib. <laughs> yeah, I'll take him out for a good food. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Food what, is great in Asia. What's good in Bangkok? Oh, what isn't the, everything? Do they have ramen there? Everything. You 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 like the instant noodle I that like feeds you noodle. just now? Yeah, they're good. Yeah, that is just one of many things. Better than the. the We've got the, the fresh stuff. Noodles. Okay, in Asia they make it fresh by hand. Not all the time. But when you get the fresh stuff, you think, "Oh, I can't eat, I can't eat cup noodles anymore." Okay. So good. Nobody should eat cup noodles in the first place, to be quite honest. Hey, I like eating them when I'm lazy to cook. I can feel them expanding in my stomach right now and slowly killing my insides. That just sounds like they're they're feeding you even after you're done eating. Yeah. That's just how effective they are. In fact, I'm actually gonna need to go clear out my insides, and uh, yeah. for that reason, we're gonna go ahead and go to a break. Fair enough. Uh, see you guys uh, in a little bit. We'll be back with uh, the second best of two coming up.